morning students today we are going to continue hca financium part 4 today we are going to learn the least common multiplier in the exercise so what is least common multiplier the least common multiply of the given number is the smallest number that is divisible by each of the given number so let us we have seen the definition but now we will see how to solve the sum through exercise find lcm so we have a number called 12 and 15 Okay, now let us we know how to solve the prime factor, right? So, twelve and fifteen, the both the number should be divisible in one number. So, both the number is divisible by three. The so three fours are twelve, right? Three fives are fifteen. Further, if we see. Five is already a prime number, so further it can be not done anything. So, but four is not a prime number, so we will do the prime factor of four. Two two is a four. Now we have two as a prime number here, so further we cannot do anything. Five we will carry out like this only. So therefore, the LCM of twelve. And fifteen is two. Sorry, three multiply two multiply two multiply fifteen. If we multiply all this number, we will get answer as sixty. Therefore, the LCM is how much? Sixty. So question number three, eighteen and thirty-two. Let's solve. So eighteen and thirty-two. Both the number ending with eight. One is eight. This number is ending with two. So both the numbers are divisible by two tables. So when I divide by two, I'll get answer nine and sixteen. So nine we will keep like this only. Sixteen can be further written as two eights are. Sixty. We'll put carry on. Now also, uh, two fours are eight. Now, now also, if we see children nine and four. Both the numbers are not divisible in one. Uh, divisible in common number. So two twos are four. Now we have two as a prime number. We will stop it here. Now I have nine here. So three threes are. Nine. So we'll stop here. Therefore, the LCM of eighteen and thirty-two is two multiply two multiply two multiply two multiply three multiply three and multiply three. If we multiply, we will get answer as two eighty-eight. So now, now I have question number four here, ten, fifteen, and twenty. Now we have three numbers. Okay, let us solve. Five, three numbers are divisible by five tables. So five twos are ten, five threes are fifteen, five fours are twenty. Now if we see two and three is a prime number, we will stop here itself. We cannot do further. But here four. Ah, uh, four is ah uh, four again. It can be factorized, so it can be factorized in two table. Here, if we see the two table, here also we can do so two ones are two. Two table in two table three doesn't come, so we will write three as it is here. So two twos are four. 
so therefore the lcm of 10 15 and 20 is 5 multiplied by 2 3 multiplied by 2 if we multiply we will get answer as 60 i hope children you are getting understanding question number 105 oh, sorry question number 7 the question is 105 and 195 so both the numbers are divisible by 5 double by because the number ending with 5 so either we can divide by 5 but here it is I have divided first by 3 so 3 if we divide by 3 I will get 35 here here I will get 65 now also both divisible by 5 table 5 7s are 35 5 13s are 65 therefore the LCM of 105 and 195 is 5 3 multiplied by 5 7 multiplied by 13 if you multiply all this number we will get 1365 that is 1365 10th sum that is the last sum of this 18, 36 and 27. So if we see 18 that is divisible in 3 table, 36 also divisible in 3 table, 27 is also divisible in 3 table. So if we divide 3, 6 are 18, 3, 12 are 36, 3, 9 are 27. So if we see again the 6, 12 and 9, 3 numbers are divisible in 3 table. So 3, 2 are 6, 3, 4 are 12, 3, 3 are 9. So if we see here 2, 4, 3, 4 is divisible in 2 table. Here 2 is also there. So we will divide it by we will divide by 2 so 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 3 doesn't divisible in 2 table so we will write 3 as it is so therefore the LCM of 18 36 and 27 is 3 multiply 3 2 multiply 2 2 multiply 3 so our answer is 108 question number 2 Question number 2. Find the HCF and LCM of the number given below. Verify that their products is equal to the product of the given number. We have to find HCF and LCM of the given number. Okay, I have two number here 32 and 37. I have to find HCF as well as LCM. Okay. I have to verify, verify that the products of is equal to the product of the given number. Okay, that I will teach you how to verify it. So, 32 can be for factorizing, I am factorizing 32. Now, we know how to factorize in the previous exercise we have learned. So, I am going with little faster. 32 can be factorized as 2 into 16 and 16 can be factorized as 2 into 8 2 sorry 2 into 8 and 8 can be factorized as 2 into 4 and 4 can be factorized as 2 into 2 now 37 if we see children 37 is in already and prime number so prime number 37 is equal to 37 into 1 therefore hcf of 32 and 37 what is the common factor here here the common is only one year therefore the hcf of 32 and 37 is 1 now lcm how to find lcm using this method we have not learned the LCM through this method. If we see, if it is whatever the number is mentioned here, to any numbers are common between this uh, two factors, 32 and 37, none of the numbers are common. So we can write all the factors here 
all the factors here using multiplication and you have to multiply that is your answer now we have to verify it how to verify that is hcf and lcm we have to multiply what is the hcf we got one lcm we got 118 so it's 100 and one no, sorry 1084 the product of the given number what is the given number here 32 and 37 if we multiply one uh, we got 118 see hcf and lcm when i multiply the product of hcf and LC, L, uh, lcm is 100 and sorry 1184 the product of the given number is also 1000 1000 100 and 1184 both are equal therefore it is verified therefore it is verified okay question number three it is 15 and 60 so we are going to find we are going to write the prime factor of 15 and 60 15 can be written as 3 into 15 further we cannot factorize because 3 and 5 is a prime 3 and 5 is a prime number so we, we will not factorize further 60 60 can be factorized as 2 into 30 30 can be factorized as 2 into 15 and 15 can be factorized as 3 into 5 and further it cannot be factorized because 3 and 5 is a prime number we will stop here now let us see what is the common numbers what is the common number between them what is the common here 3 is the common and 5 is the common so our is2 common factor is 3 and 5 therefore our hcf is what should be 15 now let us write the lcm how to write the lcm we will write the common number once okay 3 and 5 is the common number we will write once what is the remaining number left here 2 into 2 2 into 2 i'll multiply all this number we will get answer 60 now we have to verify it how to verify lcm and hcf and lcm we will multiply we will when we multiply we will get 15 and 60 will get 900 the product of the given number that is given number is 15 and 60 15 and 60 900 both the values we are getting 900 900 so hence it is verified we will write like this hcf in lcf is equal to the product of the given number hence verified so dear children teacher have solved few sums from this practice set you will solve all the sums in your notebook if you don't understand the sums very clearly go through the videos twice or thrice until you understand see the sums and see the video and solve it once and definitely i'm sure that you will understand complete it in a neat and clean handwriting take care god bless you all Thank you.